13 petals, 3 medals, 3 spots on the board of destiny. 13 stomp boxes ranging from beginner bargains to boutique beauties. All petals were purchased used from eBay and come from my personal collection. All petals will be given the same rigorous trial and then compete head to head in the combat round. For those petals who fail in the combat round will be forever banished to the storage bag of doom. Promising an unstoppable wall of high gain, the Digitech Death Metal features a input and output, a clamp switch, low, middle, high frequencies, and a level control. So here we are with the Digitech Death Metal pedal. Ian Champion Custom Guitar, Wolftone Legends Pickups, I'm on the neck pickup, host a cable straight into the Digitech death metal hosa cable into the mesa lone star special clean channel all the knobs are at 12 except for the volume same thing with the pedal here's the clean channel <laughs> So this is going to be fun. Here we go. So a lot of that sounds unusable, but there is good tones in here. I believe it.
that is the Digitech death metal pedal. Uh, I, I can't leave before I do some of this. Some of this That's black metal. Oh, there you go. What do you think? Let me know. So, Digitech death metal. How does it sound in the real world? In a real live band setting. Well, there's about one usable sound on here. You can get kind of Mesa dual rectifier tones if you're really slick, but other than that, it's just too high, too fizzy, too gritty, and you know it doesn't have a gain level, so the gain is set, but um, it's really not uh, worth getting. It's it's extremely okay. I mean, if you uh, if you want to play black metal, you can sure use it if you can't find a Boss HM2. But if you want that classic sound, Boss HM2 is better.